So here is the RFMK chart. Going to go over the daily. Uh, before I go into it, though, you can see here it made a nice move. Um, and uh, this board here, uh, the day trader station on uh, Investors Hub. If you're not familiar with Investors Hub, it's just a, a big uh, message board forum for small caps and stuff like that. Uh, but these guys um, called it well during the bottom portion of the channel uh, before it went on that big move. And they've had some other really big ones. You know, I'm not being paid or anything like that, um, you know, for this for what I'm doing here just uh, it's a good board I follow it and um, you know they're just a lot of just like it says day traders so it's not like they're sitting there talking about uh, you know long-term positions uh, but they have been doing they got a good uh, email list that I'm signed up for so uh, it's a, a good board and um, you know it's one of those where uh, like I said RFMK they were talking about it down in this area before this big move up so uh, you know, if you traded it properly on their alert, uh, you know, there's plenty, plenty, plenty of opportunity uh, to pull profits uh, from the trade. But anyways, I'm still getting some questions on it and uh, the daily chart and so forth. So I want to just go over it from the technical perspective. So first off, the thing that really sticks out is we have a, a key zone down here that I'm just going to call the, the support zone. And um, that's valued between 0 0.01 and 0 0.0011. And uh, first, let me change these lines to green, and then I'll explain uh, where it came from. So if we look back through the history of the chart, you can see that here was a previous low. Um, let's try that again. There we go. So we had a, a low down here at 0.011, and then it acted as support a few times. Um, and then here acted as resistance, so a good example of a support turn into resistance. And then down here we had, uh, it looks like about two weeks straight where the price just kept bumping its head on 0.001. And 0.001 is a psychological, uh, you know, resistance anyways. Uh, so this is going to be the key level um, that you want to see continue to hold. Because remember, uh, if it does hold on any sort of pullback or more of a pullback, and that's the new low, this set of lows would be higher than this set, and then you would be able to start to draw this uh, longer-term uptrend line. So that's you know the the whole uh, you know name of the game and what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, if this area does not hold, uh, then you know I would expect the price to head right back down here, the triple zero seven area. You can see that uh, it does have quite a bit of you know buying support down here. Every time uh, the price has hit it, uh, the the level has held and you know bounced back upward. So that's kind of where the supports stand. And what I'll be keeping an eye on, ideally, best case scenario would be the price holding above uh, this purple line here, which is a 50-day simple moving average, uh, which is at 0.0014. But at the end of the day, uh, this support zone here is more of the key thing to, to keep an eye on. In terms of uh, resistance levels now and any sort of bounce, uh, the first level that's sticking out is just simply where uh, the profit taker stepped in on this uh, bounce that was occurring uh, on Thursday. Uh, this level is at 0.0021. So this will be an area of resistance. Uh, and then after that, really nothing until back up here uh, around the 0.0025 area and you can see there's quite a bit of history that goes here acted as a support resistance resistance and then basically resistance again so this 0.0025 area is going to be another key level to look at from the resistance side of things so that's where the chart currently stands um, if there are any other questions on it please let me know if not I'd encourage you to check out bull warrior stocks.com if you go there and sign up for the free newsletter you'll be sent a free ebook with the newsletter subscription you'll get charts set up straight ideas educational pieces all sorts of things from big boards on a penny stock so there's a good variety something for everybody it is all free we've been making some good money on our alert so I'd encourage you to go to the website sign up and see what it's all about again this was RFMK thanks for listening and enjoy your weekends